field. He certainly has the respect of all of his teammates and the coaching staff. He is a wonderful son. He's very considerate. He's um, a regular type of person. So much enjoys being able to go out with fraternity brothers and things like that, where he's just one of the boys, so to speak. He's the best player anybody can have, the best little brother I can think of. He's great. I got the moves, baby. You got the motion. We got together. We be I'm glad to be on the same team with the guy. Learned a lot from him, as a matter of fact. He's a brother, a son, a teammate, and USC's star quarterback. He's Todd Ellis, an outstanding athlete on the field who wants to be just a normal college student around campus. Just a regular, just a regular guy, a regular student, and uh, I enjoy the rest of all the things that the rest of the college students enjoy. It just so happens that I almost have a full-time job with football, and, and I happen to be playing a position that's, that gets a lot of press. Coaches and players and friends seem to have the same thing that they say about you, and that is that this guy is too good to be true. What do you think about that? Uh, I think uh, as far as the media goes and, and the press, they have an image that they want to make of a person who plays in a position like I am in a South Carolina. The quarterback supposedly is supposed to be too good to be true, and I think that's got a lot to do with this, the way the media looks at you. And I think if you really talk to some of my friends and if you weren't interviewing them, if you were just asking them, they'd tell you probably the truth. The truth is, Todd's football career began with a little white lie at the tender age of six. I lied to, to play in the seven-year-old league and because I, I was much bigger than most of the kids. I've always been a little bit bigger, and uh, I started playing fullback, I guess, when I was in, I think they call it the Ankle Biters League. From the Ankle Biters to Page High School in Greensboro, North Carolina, Todd was one of the most sought-after recruits in the nation. But it was South Carolina in the end that gained a championship quarterback and his affections. And I know I came for selfish reasons. I wanted to, to be the quarterback here. I wanted to play for four years, and, and I, I want to be an All-American. But along the way, you know, I kind of fell in love with South Carolina, too, and I want all the best things in the world to happen for this university. And all the best things in the world are coming back to Todd. The trophies, plaques, and magazine covers are a tribute to his talents as an athlete. Along with the tributes come the breaks that celebrity status affords. I know that when I get out of school, because I played quarterback in South Carolina, because I played football, I'm going to have some breaks that other people didn't. But, you know, if I, if I want to go, uh, if I want to go someplace or if I want to be a part of something, that, you know, it's not too tough for a South Carolina quarterback, even if his name was Joe Smo, uh, to get an invitation to it. So if I step out into a place or if I'm with my parents somewhere, I might meet 15, 20 people in, uh, in a 30 minute period who someday I might call on, you know, to either help me get a job, you know, look for it. I'm just making you know, more connections than most people do. So that helps out. But celebrity status can have its limitations as well. When I'm out in public and I don't like to be out just as much as anybody else, I have to watch what I'm doing more than anybody else. And, uh, you know, if something happens, it, I'm going to be the first one that they look at or, you know, get blamed for or uh, somebody's going to try to put the finger on me. Todd's most definitely being watched, but not necessarily for misbehaving. This star passer is on the receiving end of more than a few, uh, passes from women. Here we are at williams Bryce Stadium. It's got to be electric to have 70,000 screaming fans here, especially women. How does it feel? <laughs> I started growing up and started liking, liking girls. He says there's, uh, there's three things that you can always get women. He says, number one, you got you, you be a lawyer. He said, number two, be a quarterback. Number three, be a lifeguard. So you're getting the girls then. <laughs> I do okay. <laughs> if doing okay means holding two national records and establishing himself as Carolina's career passing leader with two seasons remaining, not to mention being handsome and charming, Todd's got the right stuff for a winning college football career. But for those who know him, his winning appeal goes beyond the record books, the rankings, and awards. What makes Todd so special 
is that he thinks he's just a regular guy. Yeah, I just like everybody else. I try to make friends and, and I enjoy the friends that I've got.